blah, blah. is dispensational premillennialism its own problem to be dealt with, or is it just one of many symptoms of misunderstanding law and gospel? Bingo and word of sacrament. Yeah, bingo, 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 bingo. Um, many symptoms of misunderstanding law and gospel, word and sacrament, because it ultimately, um, uh, yeah, it's a confusion of what the gospel the gospel is. It's also a confusion of script, sola scriptura. Um, let's see here. I had a some text on baptism, but we're going to go past those now and, and get to, I mentioned, um, looking at, uh, let's try to get this so it's clearly on the screen, the two texts that they do point to. And so I, I do want to say, so they're going to say the rapture's in the Bible, the rapture's in the Bible. Okay. So that's in first Thessalonians chapter four, where, where they think the rapture's in the Bible. Um, and, uh, it's a great section. In fact, this is the section that my mom, I think shared in the text messages, um, uh, regarding my dad, my dad's passing. I don't like the phrase passing. My dad's fallen asleep in Christ. Um, so uh, first, Thessalonians, first Thessalonians 4, getting ahead of myself. First Thessalonians 4, 13. I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, right? Those who are dead in Christ. Lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. There's that wallow in the muck thing. Um, verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. So the, that's Romans 6 again. So if, since Jesus died and rose, since you're in him, therefore you're going to rise too. If you die, you're going to rise. Verse 15, for this we say to you by a word of the Lord, right? So you know, double emphasis, this is the Bible and believe it, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord. Notice it doesn't say the first of the second comings of the Lord. It doesn't say, you know, one of the many comings of the Lord. It says the the coming of the Lord, singular, um, will by no means precede those who are asleep. So that is, those who are alive when Jesus comes back will get their resurrected bodies second. Right? Those who are, are dead when Jesus comes back precede us in the resurrection. Um, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. Again, does that say secret? Doesn't sound like secret to shout, voice of Archangel, trumpet, got a lot of noise, okay? And the dead in Christ will rise first. So there's a, the, the resurrection will happen to them. Then we who are alive and remain shall be, now here's the phrase, raptured, caught up in the Greek. Or not, well, caught up. In the Greek, it's raptured is the idea. I, I think even the Greek word is, is, is rapture there. Um, uh, we shall be caught up together with them, that's with the resurrected bodies, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Ooh, that's fascinating. Now, in the air may not be like materially in the air. There's, uh, when he talks about the prince of the power of the air, and basically it's the unseen world, uh, the heavenly realms. Um, I don't know. This is a mystery, what he's talking about here, that we who are alive are going to be, you know, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, twinkling of an eye, immortality, overcoming our mortality, uh, uh, imperishability, overcoming our perishability. We'll have that. And then together with those who are resurrected at the resurrection, we'll be caught up together to be with Jesus uh, in the clouds that's in the presence of God, in the air that's in um, in the heavenly places. Uh, and thus we shall always be with the Lord, therefore comfort one another with these words. So I would take this with 1 Corinthians 15, by the way, um, uh, and with, say, uh, uh, Acts chapter 1, where they say that he will return just as he departed, that this is all referring to the single return of Jesus Christ to raise the living and the dead uh, for the great right throne judgment day. Um, the idea that out of this verse, that we shall we who remain shall be caught up together with the Lord. You're going to get a secret rapture of all people that ushers in a tribulation that leaves behind all people who didn't believe. And they'll have a chance, especially as Jews, to repent and become Christians at that point to complete what they should have done in the first place that caused the plan B of Jesus' church to happen. Like, like whatever that is, it's not in this verse. Like, the only thing that's here is that when Jesus comes back, we're going to be caught up to Jesus. In that regard, Lutherans believe in the rapture. We just don't say that because when you say that word, then people mean secret rapture. They mean pre-mill dispel and on and on and on. And so we don't even really talk about it. We talk about the resurrection. We believe in the resurrection. And obviously in the resurrection, we're going to be caught up to Jesus. Like, right? Like, because that's what it says. The premillennial dispensationalist says, we take the Bible literally. And you should say, this is my body. 
I spent a lot of time, and it's it's that simple, actually. No, you don't. You don't take the Bible literally. When you're ready to take the Bible literally, I'll read it with you. And we'll start with the clear passages.